You want to install mods in Minecraft. That's why you found this video and that's what we're going to show you how to do. Now, first things first, you'll need a mod loader. For this video, we're going to be showing you how to get Forge because Forge is currently the most popular Minecraft mod loader, but there are other mod loaders out there such as Fabric or Quilt. And if you want to use mods from those, we have dedicated videos. So just search on YouTube how to get that mod loader the breakdown and will pop up. But nonetheless, we're gonna be using Forge here for this video. Now in the description down below, you will find a link to here. This is our in-depth text guide. You'll find a lot of helpful links in the description. So go down there and check those out because there's a lot to help you. One of the reasons we link out to a tutorial like this rather than directly to Forge, well, we can keep this up to date. As you can see, it's currently 1.20.1. .1. That's the most recent version that came out, but this video will be around for years and we wanna ensure that years from now, it still works. So that's why we link out to here, because even if, let's say in 1.30, there's a weird issue that this tutorial doesn't exactly work anymore, well, this video right here will be up to date, as will be the article. So you can use this to get Forge, even if the video isn't exactly perfect. But nonetheless, once you're here, you want to get download Forge to be taken to the official Forge download page. From here, you want to make sure you select the version of Forge you want. We're going to do the most recent version, but you can do any version you want, and the process is similar. You want to make sure that the version you want is selected here, and then click Installer under Download Recommended. Then, then take it off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. That's the only thing that you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will start downloading. As long as it does say Forge in the title like it does here, as well as the version, you're good to keep or save that file. I don't need to keep or save it, but depending on your browser, you may need to. It's perfectly normal if that's the case, as long as Forge is in the title. Now, you'll also want to download some Minecraft mods, and we're going to be downloading and installing Journey Map, Bombs of Plenty, Terra Blender, more on this later, but you can also get other mods. And we do have a link in the description down below to Curse Forge, which is where you will find a ton of awesome Minecraft mods. You can select your mod loader, you can select your game version, you can select all that to filter everything and basically narrow things down as much as you want as far as finding different mods for Minecraft here. Just make sure that any mods you download are for Forge and 1.20.1. .1. For example, Journey Map here, which is linked in the description, scroll down, click on Download Journey Map, and once you're here, click on Files. Now, we have Fabric versions and Forge versions, as well as older versions of Minecraft. So we wanna make sure that we're downloading the 1.20.1 .1 Forge version. So right here it is, 1.20.1 .1 and Forge. Click on the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download File. Then after a few seconds, the download will begin. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. If you wanna start a modded Minecraft server with individual mods, like you just add a few mods that you want, or mod packs, Simple Game Hosting is here for you. We have an amazing mod pack installer and you can easily add individual mods as well. On top of that, we support plugins and vanilla servers, truly meaning you can do anything and everything you want with your Minecraft server at Simple Game Hosting. Our panel is super easy to use. We have blazing fast hardware and we have a high quality help center with amazing articles to help you customize your server, make different changes and figure out any issues you could have along the way. And that's on top of our live chat support. So if you wanna start a server the quickest, simplest and easiest way, check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown today XYZ slash SGH. But as we can see here, Journey Map is downloaded. Now, Bob's of Plenty is the next mod we're going to download here. Click download, and there is something I want to mention about this one as well. This requires Terra Blender. It's not uncommon for a mod to require another mod. So it's super important that you look out for things like this. Unfortunately, some mod authors aren't the best about disclosing this stuff. Red text right at the beginning here. This is what I like to see. Uh, very, very clear that it requires another mod. If any mod makers ever watch this in the future, that is something uh, from this side of things, from helping people get these mods installed. Terra Blender being right here at the beginning is a great thing. Put your requirement mods right at the beginning of your descriptions. That way we can help find them. And that way, you know, people have less issues and have to find our videos less. But nonetheless, make sure that you do go to Terra Blender. We've already got it open here, but we want to download Bombs of Plenty, clicking files and make sure we're downloading that 1.20.1 .1 Forge version, which we are. We can also go ahead and download Terra Blender. Just go to that download page and you know the drill at this point. It's the same as the other mods. Just download the Forge version for 1.20.1 .1 or whatever version of Minecraft you're installing. This, this is, you know, for 1.30, you would download the 1.30 version of your mod. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser and we're gonna go ahead and move everything to our desktop just because it makes it so much easier. Now, it's most likely gonna be found in your downloads folder. So just open up File Explorer and select downloads. You might have to come under this PC to select downloads. And here it is. We have Bombs of Plenty, Journey Map, and Forge. We can move all of these to our desktop. Um, Terra Blender was missing there though. So we wanna make sure that we go back and get Terra Blender downloaded. There we go. Now that Terra Blender is downloaded, it'll be here as well. And we can move that to our desktop too. 
So now with everything on our desktop, what we want to do is go ahead and move our mods to the side because the first thing we need to do is get Forge installed. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, you go to the description down below and you download Java. Now, right now that's Java 17, but in the future we expect it to change. It could be Java 20, Java 25. So if this says Java 25, download that version because that's what's gonna be best for the most recent version of Minecraft. This will always be up to date with whatever, whatever the most recent version of Minecraft is. So if it's changed in the future, that's why. But it is of course in the description down below to help you out. So go down there, download Java, and then you'll be able to open up Forge. If you do have any issues, you may need to run the jar fix. This is gonna take the Java files on your computer and link them back to Java. So for example, if Forge looks weird, it's not the same icon that I have. Have. running the jar fix after getting Java will fix that. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the mod system installer for Forge, click Install Client, and click OK. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played the version of Minecraft you're trying to install Forge for, in this case 1.20.1 or 1.30 in the future, you have to play that version without any mods or anything, just open it to the main menu and close out of it, then you'll be able to come back and install Forge. Also, if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open, this won't work either, so keep that in mind. But as you can see here, things are finishing off and it will eventually come up and stay. Successfully install Client Profile Forge for version 1.20.1, .1. click OK and it will close out of that. We can delete Forge. Now let's get our mods installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and by default, you'll most likely have Forge selected, right? It'll be selected, you'll be good to go. But in some cases, you won't be. Let's see what we have here. Now, for me, Forge is selected. There it is, Forge. It's for the right version, 1.20.1 in our case, or whatever version you're installing. If you have this, click play, click play again, and skip ahead in the tutorial a bit. But if you don't, make sure you can't select it from the dropdown, and then go to installations. From here, you wanna make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, we uncheck modded, it disappears. Check modded, there it is. Click play in that case. But if you still don't have Forge here, or the correct version of Forge, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm naming it Simple Game Hosting, because that's the best place to start a Minecraft server. The breakdown of XYZ slash sgh then come under the version drop down box here and select the 1.20.1 dash forge release for me it's towards the top not at the very top you might need to scroll down a ways to find yours but for my for me it is right here i'm also going to change the resolution so we can see once you get in game and then click create now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that has 1.20.1 dash forge under it Hover over this, click play, and click play again. Minecraft is not going to open up with Forge. That's the hard part. The hardest part of getting Minecraft mods is getting Minecraft open with Forge. Once you've done that, adding your mods is super easy. So from the main menu, we can see a few things different. One, we have Forge here in the bottom left. Two, we have this Mods button. So both of these are indications that we have Forge working. Let's go ahead and click on that Mods button. And then in the Mods menu here, we want to go ahead and click on the Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the main menu. Click on Mods, and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Now drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want to install into this mods folder. In our case, that's Taylor Blender, Bombs of Plenty, and Journey Map. Once you've done that, you actually need to quit Minecraft and you need to reopen it, making sure you play Minecraft with your Forge installation. If for whatever reason you don't play Minecraft with Forge, your Minecraft mods won't be there. If you go play vanilla Minecraft right now, your Forge mods will not work. So you wanna make sure you're playing with your Forge installation. And then once we are in game, your mods will be working now. You've added them in a mods folder, you've restarted Minecraft, Forge in this installation startup process here. We'll see those mods, and guess what? Everything will be working. You may actually, if you uh, look closely, be able to catch a glimpse of it reading your mod file. Just depending. Sometimes it moves too fast and you can't even see it, but sometimes you can. It's kind of cool. So there we go. Minecraft is now open. If we go to mods, there they are. Terra Blender, Bombs of Plenty, and Journey Map. We can obviously jump in game. We're just going to have to do a new world because we have Bombs of Plenty and, well, that requires a new world. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. I'll make it creative just because that's easier for me. And let's generate this new world where we can see right away that Bombs of Plenty is working. We've got this tree and this biome behind us. In the top right, we've got Journey Map. If we hit J on our keyboard, it will open up the full screen map. And we can see we've got a really cool biome over here as well. So all sorts of awesome stuff. And uh, that's how you can get mods in Minecraft and, and start playing them. As you can see, all of our mods are working. Bombs of Plenty, Journey Map, all of that stuff. And uh, these are two mods I would recommend, by the way. Biomes of Plenty is the best Biomes mod. There's another one called Oh the Biomes Shall Go, which is just as good. And then Journey Map as well is a great map mod for Minecraft that I would recommend checking out. If you're interested in being able to see a mini map in the top right, but also a full screen map, you can also set waypoints. For example, our spawn was about this location, so we can mark that if we wanted to there. And then if we come back in game, we've got our spawn waypoint. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Be sure to check out Simple Game Hosting for your Minecraft server hosting needs, and I'm out. Peace.